century. Okay, we are back from executive session at 8.28 p.m. where we discussed personnel and contracts. I need a motion to approve Mrs. Kelsey Stewart as a substitute teacher for the remainder of the 2022-2023 school year, pending receipt of all required clearances, Act 126 and 168 verifications. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. I need an, uh, a motion to accept with regret the letter of intent to retire for Mr. Barry Salisbury, effective June 30th, 2023. So moved. June 3rd? June 3rd. What did I say? 30th. 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 June 3rd. Sorry. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Salisbury for his work here. <coughs> need a motion to adopt policy 201, admission of students as presented. Second. Second. Any discussion? I will say, uh, because we had um, somebody who did specifically address this um, in public comments as an agenda item, um, I do understand what you're saying, but um, uh, as an educator, I will tell you <laughs> two things for me, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, um, early entrance is not a requirement. So if there's a parent who doesn't want the required testing, they don't have to seek early entrance. They could have their child enter at the regular time. So there is a parental choice there. And the second thing is, I don't always agree with early entrance, but I do agree with the parent's right to have that choice. But at the same time, I do think the district needs to take all the precautionary steps necessary. You, I, you can have a child who's academically ready and not socially or emotionally ready. And I think the district is wise to want to know that ahead of time um, before such a decision is made. That's my professional opinion. And to that point, you could have a student who's socially, emotionally ready, but not educationally. You have the foundation educationally. The biggest problem I would see would be I wouldn't want to put my child, I would want my child tested. I understand the choice. I would want my child tested because I want to, wouldn't want to put them in a situation where I felt they were ready, but put them in a choice or a situation where they would be less than successful. So and, I, and I guess to that, they do have a choice. They don't have to choose early right, entrance. Right. If they choose early entrance, I do think, then you choose to accept the requirements for that in my I think um, I thought some of her comment was that the parents had to pay too. No, I think actually she said she was okay with them. maybe I'm Oh well, that. when my when mine went early, they were tested and that I didn't pay. I didn't the school we, paid for it. Yeah, I, I, I was, so I didn't think the school in my in my academic or in my educational career that changed and yeah. it's become common practice. Yes. Yes, if, if the family, if the parents would want to have the early entrance, they would have to pay for the the uh, psychological test. Okay. And I think most schools are doing that mm -hmm. these days. Mm -hmm. Any other comment or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Madam President, can we go back to Mr. Barry? Did we authorize administration to post? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Should it say that? It should. Yes, I would. I'm glad you caught that. I did not. So catch we, that. Need to, we need to. We need to. Can we do we need to? Well, you'd that? have to do it. Well, wait. We can't do that. No, We'd we have can't. to have a motion to amend <laughs> the, the motion. No, a motion amend to amend the agenda. The agenda. agenda, correct? No, because you've already dealt with the retirement, so the public would be on notice that. Posting generally is the end of the So can we then just take a motion to amend the? Can we put not just to save any kind of problem? Can we put it on the next agenda? Is that soon enough? Can it wait? Well, I'm going to look. Can we wait? Can we put the motion to to uh, to post and hire post. that position on the next agenda, Craig? Is that going to put you in a bind? He's not leaving until the third, unless you time down. Okay, the interview process. It's May eighteenth. This is the yeah. next meeting. Yeah, it does kind of put him in a bind. Yeah, he's yeah. he's needing bind. someone. Yeah. Okay, so then what's the... I make a motion that we amend the motion. 
Well, we already uh, voted on the motion. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay. All right, I second the, the motion that uh, Mr. Amend. Leisure yes, yeah, to amend. Okay, so just to be clear, we have a motion on the floor to amend the motion to accept the retri retirement by adding, giving the administration the authority to post, post advertise. Uh, and advertise for right. rehire. Yes, <laughs> if, necessary. If, necessary. if necessary. It also doesn't incur any financial obligations. Right. Is there any discussion on that? A good catch. That is a good yeah, catch because I did not catch that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. And I believe we are on policy 404, correct? Yes, correct. Right. Need a motion to adopt policy 404 professional hiring practices as presented. So moved. Second. Any discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. We need a motion to adopt policy 625 procurement cards as presented. So moved. Second. Any uh, discussions or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Need a motion to adopt policy 913.1, sponsorships, partnerships, and advertising as presented. So moved. Second. Any discussions or questions? The statement is in there about um, Booster. boosters, boosters not boosters. being, right. yeah, they'll be exempt. And I appreciate um, the rest of the board's consideration on that and the, attorney, the solicitor for putting that in there. Any other? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. We need a motion to approve to enter into the right of way agreement as presented with Util Utility Pipeline Inc. for the purposes of natural gas service improvements for Claysville Borough at no cost to the district. So moved. Second. Any discussion or questions? They're not willing to pay anything for it, I take it. Well, I, I was just going to say I thank Craig for the letter explaining right. what they're doing. In right. The, it, it would cost us money if we didn't enter into this as opposed to not. Um, so they are helping us in other words. They're, it's saving us a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. I need a motion to approve the agreement between Washington Health System Sports Medicine for the Washington Hospital and McGuffey School District effective June 1, 2023 through May 31, 2024 at a cost of $4,500 as presented. So moved. Second. And then that's no cost increase, correct? Hasn't right. been for a long time. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them. I just want to make sure to point that out again. Because <laughs> in the, the era of everything being increased. <laughs> I can't remember it's the worth last mentioning. time that they increased it, Ken. Can you? No, I can't, but I hope they don't realize it. <laughs> I hope they don't realize it. Any discussion <laughs> or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. I need a motion to approve the software license renewal for PowerSchool as the district student information system at a cost of $23,135.56 for the 2023-2024 school year, which is an increase of $1,513.37. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? I have a question. When was the last time we did a cost analysis? I know there are several options to uh, school information systems, and this is costly. And we're looking. I mean, is there not? Is that maybe? It, maybe it's been done, and this is the most reasonable. I can't say that we did one for this year. Um, we, as a district, have really become ingrained in this inf student information system. So, it's there's there's cost to be associated to this, but also transitioning from this to something of the brand new. I know, also. but just because we've always yeah. done it that way doesn't uh, mean I we have it. <laughs> I understand. Thank you, I'm old and I can say that. <laughs> Thank you. Looking on the horizon, I think that we should look at that. So if I'm, what I'm hearing is that maybe in, <laughs> in the future, future budget. we need to okay. right. look at. Okay. 
Any other questions or discussion? <laughs> All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. And in motion to approve the agreement between McGuffey School District and Invo Healthcare Associates for special education related services for the 2023-2024 school year as presented. So moved. Second. Discussion or questions? Uh, was this the one that it ends up being like between two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars per incident. Is that was I? This is it? occupational. This therapy. is we. This is occupational therapy. This is for yeah I, around thirty five students. Um, they receive occupational therapy once a day, once a, once a week. No, no, so no, that's not it. Week. It might be the hearing one. Okay, maybe it's the hearing one. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. Any other questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. We need a motion to approve an agreement between McGuffey School District and Crossroads Speech and Hearing for the 2023 2024 school year as presented. So moved. Second. Do I have a second? Oh, you have a second. You have a second. Okay. Okay. You have a second. Discussion or questions? Now, is this the one that is like it's a, a set? It's like between two hundred and fifty to three hundred for per incident. Is that what I was reading there? No, this actually again. Uh, so this is for our students. We have uh, about sixty-three. This is an overload. In addition to our uh, speech therapist that we have on staff that takes on uh, those additional students, uh, and typically uh, during the course of the week, we have uh, a number of students that actually have two sessions. So one will be with our in-house, and then another one will be with um, the Crossroads speech in, in here. But it's one set fee. No, it's an no. Hour. It's That's hour. what. Okay, that was the question. It's a, okay. All right. Thank so we you. so we do have students that are um, hearing deficient and use sign language. ASL and here? swallowing problems. and swallowing. It could be anything with speech pathology. Right. I'd have, to, I'd have to go back to you on the uh, swallowing. I'm not. I'm not sure well, about that. And we have we have students at ASL? Possibly. And I, I, am I understanding this right? This would be in addition to our This is yeah, this is therapist. the caseload they have for this group is between 63 and 65 students. Uh, and 65 would be the max that any any person. So this is this service that's offered to us is uh, for the students IEP in addition to what we provide them already. Okay, wait a second. Does that mean that if yeah. we're currently at, what did you say, 65, mm -hmm. this would only take effect if we got 66? No, 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 no. Th this, this is, this is the overload into what the current speech pathologist has. Th this so we have 65 students in addition to what the, that are coming in? The no, need? no, 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 65 okay. total, I think you said. Yeah, 65. 60, <laughs> but the thing is, they're seeing That's them, where I got confused. They're seeing them oftentimes more than once a week. It's not 65 students, it's 65 sessions a week, right? Well, yes, because, we, sessions. because, yes, so just to kind of break down a little <laughs> bit, there's individual sessions that are offered, but there's also group sessions that are offered. Right, I understand that. Okay. But how many students? That's what well, I want to know. <laughs> I, I would have to go look at the case and tell you how many students per how session. How many students and, ha and how many sessions 65, are required? 65 is the max that any one speech pathologist can actually have on a case load. What this person does is picks up those additional. If you're asking me what that number is, I don't have that in front of me. I don't have the actual number. But this 65 is, sessions or 65 students? Students is, a, is the case of students. And is the, how does this rate? We use them for speech only. We don't use any of their other services. Oh, okay. Well, that was my next question, though. I mean, and, and maybe you've looked at it. I don't know. But mm -hmm. is this rate comparable to, I don't know, IU also provides these services? Bruce is pretty on top of this. Yeah. I would say yes. Without her being here to ask her, I would right. say absolutely yes. If there's something specific that I can ask her, uh, I will get that answer to you by tomorrow. So that's a, was it 250 to 300? Well, I, I was thinking it's an hourly rate for whatever specialty it is. That's it why it was $68 and $55. Yeah, it I, changes. Yeah. The rate's different. Yeah. Got it. No, I'm sure they were Any other questions or discussion? Yeah. I'm trying to find it, but it's kind of slow to open. <laughs> it says the rate increase. I take it. It doesn't say what or how much or it just says the date and the rate change. 
it's it, it, I think it was just what they listed in the yeah. contract, wasn't it? They gave that was right. that's what I was asking about sixty eight dollars, yeah, thirty one fifty, fifty five dollars. Isn't that what it, they were referring to? It's well, as I'm well, it's sixty. We're paying sixty dollars per hour for speech, and that and they said that's the only thing we use of this. What was Do you it? know what it was last year? I don't. And we've used this same company in the past. We've used them last year. We've used them last year. Yeah. And we don't remember so, what the, I don't, I don't know what the rate is. Ken, it says in, um, hourly rate, $60 for speech services, 38 for nursing services, 65 for consultative services. But we don't yeah. know what last year. No. Yeah, that's what she's looking right now. But I was wondering. I'm going to text Chrissy just in case she happens to be. Watching. <laughs> or, or up. <laughs> But we only use the speech. We don't use the nursing or. No, this is this okay. is this is for speech. So then we don't use the ASL or the swallow services. Okay. Apparently not. Uh, what did I do? That is the one I was looking at. So it went up three dollars. <coughs> Oh, you, you have a number, Laura? Three dollars. Okay. All right. So three, a difference of three dollars. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it went three dollars an hour, right? Yes. Thank you. Any other questions or discussion? Well, I did this again. Are we waiting for an answer or are we just going to go ahead? No, no, that, okay. I, mean, I was looking up what she just got. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Need a motion to approve the 2023-2024 preliminary budget for public viewing. <coughs> this is what you gave us in the package. That's what you're putting out there for public viewing. It'll be available in the business office if anybody wants to come in and look at it. Oh, but it, okay, it, it be wouldn't online. be on the website. It's just in the business office. Does it usually go online? I don't know. I'm just no, asking. It doesn't usually go online. I've, okay. I've always. Everywhere I've always been, it's been available for public view for them to come in and look at. No pictures allowed. They okay. Look. All right. Okay. Thank you. And they're not required to fill out a right to know for it. They can no, just they come in and see it. Okay. See it in right. Okay. So Thank move. You. Second. Thank I think you. it's the way we've always done, but it doesn't mean that we always have to do it the way <laughs> yeah. all the time. <laughs> it should be on the website. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions or discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. In a motion to approve payment to Anderson Price for invoice dated March 31, 2023, in the amount of $1,625 as submitted. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Motion carries. Facility use report, Dr. Oberg? I'm president in March, uh, 48 times, community 21, primarily youth wrestling practice, and then a uh, number of boosters, track, baseball, golf, and football. The budget expenditure report is there for your review. The cafeteria report is there for your review. Do we have a solicitor's report? There is no solicitor's report. Thank you. Do we have a Western Area Career and Technology Center report? Uh, we are looking to hire the uh, instructor. I would imagine he's going to have somebody for us next Wednesday night for networking. Uh, that individual will be leaving this month. And uh, last uh, month's board meeting, we approved the uh, expenditure for uh, renovation of the cosmetology department. Um, we got the three bids in. We took the lowest bid. What that will do for us down at Western Area and Career, we'll open that up to where we'll be able to have 50 students in the morning and 50 students in the afternoon, which means none of our students will be turned away. Nice. Very nice. The next move will be he's looking at doing the same thing for the welding department, mm -hmm. welding school. So, yeah, welding and um, automotive and cosmetology are always the biggest. Yeah, but okay. the cosmetology, he's going to get that fixed with all new equipment and restructuring the room. And we approved that for, I believe, don't hold me to this, I think it was about $126,000. And what does that do for our students attending Penn Commercial? That'll be up. But that was a bone of contention with the previous administrator, the director down there, 
and that's something that Dr. Oberg, yeah, we'll have to look at, right? And uh, because there are some, they brought that up before uh, we hired the new mm -hmm. director, and they pointed out uh, statutes in this in the uh, PDE code that uh, if they offered it there, we couldn't send them to someplace else. It did, uh, but there's it said some of it would be like sending them to uh parkway west as opposed to sending them to west correct western area it didn't say anything about like a pen commercial type thing right. that's something that you guys are but all going to have to come up with i don't know the answer to that ken i know his goal was to get so that no student from any of the nine sending schools would get turned away got turned away because we know that's why we <laughs> have students in pet commercial because his goal is to not tell a student you can't have your first choice what would you like to do second right, right. so are we gonna just grandfather the ones that we have at pen commercial and then not decision. allow anymore have we talked about well, that or thought about I, it or? there's a couple of steps before that but i mean certainly if you've started a program i wouldn't want to take you away from that program no and, and two we want to make sure that what he's offering and he's promised that it's apples and apples but the students still would have the opportunity to choose or, or you're saying well no. we as a board no. will have to make that decision yes. yeah. we're not there yet yeah um but down the road there yeah. could be litigation mm -hmm. if we chose as a board to give them that opportunity because they were pointing out and i think i shared that with you when he first when dr mm -hmm. whatever came out with that to us but, and it wasn't directed at us it was directed at other schools sending to parkway west <coughs> or whatever that is up mm -hmm. there it was other school districts but and, as it stands right now our students have the choice uh, between the two did. programs yeah. Coming down the road, we may yeah. need to look at that again. And we but. gave them that choice because we they were getting turned yeah. away. Right. So my question would be: This upcoming school year, are we going to offer it or not? Or well, according to according to uh, the director, the renovations will be done for the upcoming school year. So my understanding is that they aren't going to turn anybody away. That at at this point is my understanding at the last meeting. So is that a decision then the board has to make quickly for not open it for next year? Or? Well, at, at this point, um, the students have actually had a chance to view and, and go to both. If they've, they've been the Penn commercial, they've been there. And I can't speak for Mr. Bonus, but I want to say if we're looking at scheduling, they may have already been scheduled at this point. But I will put them in notes and double check and get that to you. And your meetings next week with them down there, so you right. can probably get some answers to before the, but for the uh, – actually joc meeting yeah yeah i was extremely impressed with the director down there he was very motivated and had a lot of good plans and i personally can't see sending our students elsewhere if we're already paying to send our students there well, and i would i would i would advocate especially for if they have room yeah for i what? would advocate for that if it is a comparable program i would advocate for the students that we've already sent yeah to sure. head commercial yeah. that they they get Continue. to stay there and yeah. finish their program out mm -hmm. and even for next year if they've already been scheduled for next year I, I it's it's not my call it's yeah. that's like i right. say we're, that will get the solicitor involved and they'll have to look at that statute in the state code to see well how, how, not, attorney. how has it gone with students having an option or choice has that been positive I mean, if I, mean they, I think so because uh, certainly uh, we, we've and had And I understand we were talking about some people not getting their first choice yeah. and that being a primary concern. But, but there was also a huge difference in what was being offered in those programs. Well, Tony and Guy is yeah. international. I mean, yeah. I'm just asking. Is yeah, that I, I, think, I think just from since we're talking about what mm -hmm. can be or could be, we don't know yet. And mm -hmm. so, um, but you're right. Uh, Mike's done a, a great job. He has a vision for the program. Mm -hmm. I he, was he, very sees, nice. he sees what's happened with other districts mm -hmm. going to Tony Guy, and he wants to bring him back. Mm -hmm. And he's told me, you know, I'm going to earn that business. I'm going to mm -hmm. bring that. So I think when we get to that point, yeah, and we, we do have this discussion next week, then, you know, we'll see where we are with yeah. both programs and the board and can make that decision. I guess I would ask the solicitor, since Dave mentioned litigation, is it? Well, it, it's, it's not that. It's something else, Dave. Well, it's different. Here, the districts. way I interpreted that, when that first came out a year ago. Yeah. The way personally I looked at it was that we were giving the students the option may be out of our control. 
Okay. If if it's that state, the attorney speak. Right. Sorry. And was interpreted that way. Right. But my understanding was that the attorney speak um, <laughs> was the interpretation was among other area of other tech school, not. That's like the way I read it. But you I'm not I mean? an like attorney. I Can we let the attorney speak? <laughs> <laughs> I think, and I would agree with Dr. Oberg, that you're putting the cart before the horse. Yes. Um, first of all, you're, you're assuming the construction is going to be done before the start of next school year. And we were told so, it was. Right. But we all know, but how, we that, all know how, that yes. how that goes. So I think we just let the process play out at this yeah. point. Yeah. I agree. I just, Kenny asked, and I, mm -hmm. I don't have an answer, Ken. I guess that's the biggest thing. I was, before we leave Western Area discussion, I know that we verbally thank them, but did we send a letter on behalf of the district and the board as a thanks, if you could? That was, it was nice. That was, was very awesome. nice. It was very nice. It was, it was very nice. I was actually able to um, see him the night of the intermediate you know, one dinner, and we were walking out together. And he actually remembered me <laughs> from coming to, wow. to the, um, have an art board meeting there. Yeah, it is, I, a, a great find. It was. A great I just thought I know that we did it verbally, but maybe something more official. Um, graduation this year. Don't ask me the date. It's it'll be. It's actually going to be at Chargers Houston. Oh, okay. It is not going to be a drive up. It's, uh, it's, it's good. It's years. going to be an actual real graduation. Um, good. So. He's excited about that, and we're partnering with Shark Tooth Houston again. Um, great things are happening down there. Well, uh, you, I don't know if you saw the article in the paper about the partnership between the uh, masonry program and the uh, uh, carpentry program. It are they're building uh, uh, evidence room for the, that article is in the paper. Uh, but there are other great things happening. <laughs> we now have a partnership with uh, Washington Hospital and Ambulance and Chair. We actually have students out on co-op with Ambulance and Chair, and Washington Hospital is very interested in working with that. And the uh, re revisited uh, program, the uh, EMT First Responder Program. So that's going very well too so this is great things happening down there. that's the way we told you about the caterpillar mm -hmm. thing that that program i actually saw the gentleman that i hooked up with mike I, I met him through networking and told him here you need to call this guy and that's how that happened he saw me today he said dave he says i'm so excited about what's going on at western area career mm -hmm. so things are moving down there i'm just yeah I'm really excited. Employers are desperate for those trades. I mean, they're yeah. desperate. Yeah. Okay. So Do ahead. we have a Pennsylvania School Board Association of, um, report? There's only a couple of things. One thing is, and I again, I think we're right where we need to be. Reminders that we should be reviewing our school safety policy and security issues. There is one I thought was interesting. There's a PA farm to school grant. And since we have some grant writers, I think that's probably something we want to be uh, looking at. I haven't heard of it. Maybe I'm sure your FFA people have heard of that. But uh, the one big thing, I'm going to read some of this. It's a, it's a little bit long, but it's about the school assessments. And you may have all read it. I mean, it's on there. Anybody can go there. But it just reminds us. I'm just going to read, I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's rather lengthy, but uh, some of it is the Pennsylvania School Board Association acknowledges today and releases by that are made by the PA Department of Education for the 2021 statewide assessment results, emphasizing the impact of extensive pandemic-related disruptions, makes use of this data to draw conclusions about the performance of school districts during the pandemic invalid and inappropriate. And they're saying you can't use those. Now, they do go on to say, while well, this is still a problem, and it goes, and goes over the emotional problems, which is the very reason we got the <laughs> extension in the taxes there. It does say, though, schools should still look at it for placement issues in their own district. I, I think that's probably a valid point. They probably are people are usually ahead. You probably already have done that. 
you're looking and saying, well, they can't go into this class because they really didn't fully understand that and you're adjusting. But that is what they're saying. You schools should still find value in the assessments in, as far as your personal placement in your district. But to put it out there and say, this is where we are and we're down here and everybody else is here or we're here, if that's that they just said the PDE has now said that is considered invalid. And we're, we're all seeing it. Well, and I it is it's not just district, academics. It's emotional, too, it even is. behavioral. But I do think that our district is, is paying attention to that as far as placement, too. When you look at some of the adjustments in the math programs, yeah. right, that came out of that. So, um, yeah. so but a good, good uh, thing to remember as well. That, that's all really that they had on there. I mean, if anybody's interested in ever knowing about all that woke stuff, that's all over there. Equity and woke, and I'm just not bringing that here. I mean, you can look it up if you want. I have no interest. Thank you. I would agree. I would agree, too. Um, at this time, public participation on non-agenda items. Do we have anybody? We do not have anybody. So, moving along. Give me just a second to write a note. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? <laughs> motion carries. We are adjourned at 59 p.m. Oh, okay. Have a good month. I'll see you next month. Yeah.